Good afternoon. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. You're knowing what you're wanting? Yes. It's going to move about, even today. You're going to feel new clarity of desire occurring to you. You've been hanging around us for a little while, so you get the essence of what we know and what we want to help you to activate within yourself so that it is your absolute knowing you know what you want but more important are you a vibrational match to your desire that's the big question because a lot of people have identified by knowing what they don't want what they do want and by knowing what they do want what they do want a lot of you have identified what you want but the question is is your vibrational output a match to what you want or are you matching the reason why you want it because if you're matching the reason why you want it then you're not a match to what you want and the law of attraction then does not seem like your friend the law of attraction is this always precise responder to your vibrational output but responder isn't a strong enough word because what your point of attraction is which means the balance of thought vibration that you emit it's like you walk into this field you know like a gravitational field you're familiar with that you live in one of those and you also live in a vibrational responsive law of attraction field where what you've got going on the law of attraction is responding to and what's so interesting about that is that yes it's responding to you and that's the only thing you have to know you only have to know what your point of attraction is and what to do about it if it isn't the way you want it to be but you're not the only one just like with the field of gravity you're not the only one who has this going on and so it's like the most recent way of describing it that we have found for you it's like you've got this bag of marbles that is magnetic in quality that's gathering up for you your life experiences gathering up your thoughts your next thought who you rendezvous with even the memories that you find from past everything about your unfolding life experience is about this magnetic law of attraction attraction law of attraction attraction law of attraction action in action attraction this law of attraction this energy field that is responsive to what you've got going on and the thing is mostly you don't really know what you've got going on until it gets going on and then you're reactive to that in other words if something happens and it's not something that you prefer or want your response to it causes a further attraction of it because you live in a universe that is inclusion based there's no exclusion in this vibrational universe so when you say no to something you're actually calling to you the thing you've decided that you do not want to come sometimes this is where humans say to us well that sucks because it feels a little counterintuitive to the way you may have been integrated into your world it seems like if you say yes it should come and if you say no it shouldn't come but have your children taught you nothing the more you decide that you're going to demand something to come to you because you want it to come because you don't have it the more obstinate you are the more resistant you are to letting it come to you and the most important part of this analysis of how life goes for you is this you are more than most humans understand that you are you are more than this physical human point of attraction there's a larger part of you this soul of you this source of you we call it the inner being of you who was non-physically focused before you focused into this body and that non-physical part of you is still part of you a big part of you the biggest part of you 
So there are two parts of you who are attracting. There's this source of you who is only love and appreciation and confidence and knowing and security and balance and well being. There's that part of you. And then there's the human part of you who could be that. Sometimes you are or might not be. But if you have chosen in any moment in time to be resistant to the love that is you, you really feel that tug of war. Or when in any point in time, you in your human beingness choose to be resistant to your appreciation of yourself or others, you really feel it. In other words, you feel the discord, the discomfort, the lack of harmony, the downright pain of not going with the flow of your eternalness of who you really are you just can't be in this physical form and look around and find things to hate without causing problems to yourself because if you focus upon what you do not desire you gotta know your inner being is never gonna do that your inner being is always gonna focus upon who you really are and all that you've become through the life experiences that you have lived. So when you choose to take a very narrow point of view, like I don't like what's happened in this red hot minute, I'm just not gonna stand for this. And you stand in protest, in justification, in what it turns out to be is downright arguing for your limitations. But when you choose to do that, which you certainly have the free will to do, in fact, it's part of your evolution process but when you are in the moment of doing that you can really feel that discord and the reason that that discord exists within you in the form of negative emotion is because your point of attraction that you have the free will to activate for yourself and that which your inner being is gathering up the cooperative components on your behalf if those are in opposition that's what resistance is if they are in harmony that's what allowing is so there's this you could call it call it a lot of things we call this vibrational you this vibrational reality this you that you've become to we call it your vortex just because we wanted to have a focal point that you could focus on and we wanted you to accept it as something that is real in your experience even though it's hard for you to accept that it is real because you can't see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it until it gets evolved enough that it comes into your experience in a way that you can interpret the vibration of it through your physical senses we want you to accept the reality of it by feeling your way to it so you could call it a lot of things we have called this vortex a lot of things we say here you are and here your vortex version of you is and when you're in alignment we call that a state of allowing or the art of allowing we have called it being in your vortex or we call it letting what's in your vortex come to you we call it being a cooperative component we call it closing the gap we call it being in the flow we call it moving downstream we've called it a lot of things because we want you to accept its summoning of you we want you to understand that who you are is calling you to the fullness of who you are because that's where all the good stuff is when you ask it is given someone should write a book <laughs> when you ask it is given but the reason that humans don't always know that is because you've asked but it hasn't manifested where you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it so you say well if it's given I would like it to show up somewhere where I can see it and we say it has been given it has been revealed but you got to realize it you've got to be a vibrational match to what you're asking for you cannot continue to be a vibrational match to the reason that you're asking for it so when someone says how are you you really want to tell them this version but humans don't want to do that sometimes because it doesn't feel honest in other words I don't feel so good might be the way you feel what's wrong I don't feel good well what's wrong well when someone is asking you or when you're focused upon what's wrong you're rarely focused upon what you prefer or where you're going or what's actually in the process it would be like the gardener or the farmer or anyone planting a seed in the ground making sure it's a viable seed and putting it in the ground and 
taking care of the ground and then noticing that nothing happened. And so your reality is, I made some effort, but nothing's happening. Where in the vibrational reality, there is a lot going on. There's a whole lot of energy in that seed and a whole lot of attraction power in that seed and a whole lot of intelligence in that seed and a whole lot of source energy affecting that seed and a whole lot of becoming in that seed, a whole lot of becoming that you can't see or hear or smell or taste or touch yet, but it is happening. And if you can accept that it is in the gestation stage, it's like the fetus in the womb is in a state of becoming also. All of your creations are in the state of becoming. And if you could enjoy that knowing and that process of the evolution of the becoming, then you would be less likely to be resenting or regretting or impatient about it's not yet being fully manifested. And when you get the hang of that, life is so much fun because now you're bridging that gap. Now. You hatch an idea, you know it's on the way. You're eager about it's becoming. You're aware of it's becoming. You're tuned in, tapped in, turned on. So you get to watch the progress of it becoming. You feel like who you are, the creator of your experience with your own hands in your own vibrational clay, where you get to be in on every improvement that you make to this creation. So many others around you all running around with their bags of marbles and it's not the most dominant in other words it's not the dominance of the marbles in your bag like I love that and I love that but I hate that and I really want that and I really don't want that and that person was so beautiful and that person was so mean to me in other words all those marbles that you drop in your bag and everybody else is doing it too it isn't how many of those marbles you've dropped in because oh too many to count it's which of them are active which of them have attraction power right now and that's what's active in your vibration words, that's what your belief system is a belief is just a thought that you continue to think and a thought that you continue to think is an active marble that is attracting so you can have someone in your experience Esther had this the other day with her grandson he's a teenager and you know what we say about teenagers as you argue for the limitations of your relationship with them well Esther's thinking about her bag of marbles and she knows that she's going to see this teenager and she's eager about doing that and so she just dropped a whole bunch of marbles the best feeling existing the existing not the ones she's reaching for the ones that already exist good feeling marbles she just dropped them in her bag took her about two or three minutes it was fun to do and then a couple hours later she saw him and he was so much like the marbles in her bag and she thought I'm the master of the universe now she didn't think that but she is her active feeling about him caused him you're not gonna believe this he came out of his bedroom stopped doing whatever he was doing online and came out of his bedroom and sat and visited with her Esther thought it's a miracle <laughs> had the best conversation and then and then and then and then so we're not giving you this example because we want you to think that we want you to control the behaviors of others that isn't our point but how people how situations how inanimate objects how traffic how weather how everything in your physical universe responds to you has everything and only to do with what you got going on in your bag of marbles and you've got more control than you have even been thinking you have or practicing to exercise in other words existing happy thoughts are your tool for living happily ever after and trying to fix things that are broken not so much trying to straighten other people out not so much trying to point out their flaws so that they will be better not so much anytime you point something out that you don't want you got a whole different bag of marbles going on if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next